Okay, so here we have the ball on top, which has been completely upgraded. Uh, it's, they've added some color. The texture is different. They've got a, a target here on the side, as you can see, for, for obviously for targeting. And it's going to help with your perceptual speed, hand-eye coordination, depth per perception, and things like that. And also it's going to help with placement of punching. You know, you, now you actually have something to look at that you can focus on, which will increase the accuracy of your punches. So that's what I really like about the improvements they've made with this, this part of the, the reflex bag or ball. So let's move on to the next part and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so here we have the neoprene covering that they covered uh, up and down the, the pole for the, for the bag itself. Uh, this is a really nice covering they put on here and I'm, and I'm gonna assume that they put it on here because when people miss their hands, if they happen to miss the ball itself, then their hands are gonna hit that bar and it's pretty painful. So I want to say this is, this is a safety feature. It could also just be a you know, user-friendly feature, but I want to err on the side of safety and say that they probably put this on here so that it's a little safer. So let's move on to the next part, and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so what you see here is the, uh, the, the bag that they put on the bottom that helps to keep the, the reflex bag down from, you know, from wobbling back and forth, but it also serves as a fitness bag. It's got two handles on each, or it's got one handle on each side. So if you wanted to remove this and use it for some kind of a fitness regimen or uh, weight training or any kind of thing like that, you can you could use this as a fitness tool. Um, so it does not come with sandbags, so you kind of have to improvise on how you're gonna put the sand in there. So what I did is I already had two additional smaller sandbags that I just, that I put inside here already. So these were already existing from sandbags that I already had. So I just threw them in there and it made it really easy. Um, but the, the, the cover itself is really well stitched and it looks really durable and it looks like it's going to be able to take a lot of punishment. Um, it's also got these, these rings in here in case you wanted to, to use it for some kind of weight, uh, for anything else. Uh, maybe you want to put it on some kind of a pulley and pull it up and down or, or whatever, but it does have these on here as well. Um, other than that, this is pretty much everything that's with the bag. The other thing that I'll, I'll point out is that. Um, this makes it much easier to stabilize when you're wanting to give it a little bit more punching power and try to do more follow through with your punches. But uh, other than that, it's, it's a great system, it's a great bag, and I recommend it for any school or, um, or any dojo that really wants to teach any kind of boxing or hand-to-hand -hand stuff. Uh, it's going to be a really great addition.